everybody. I know it has been a while since I've been on here. Uh, I just took a major social media hiatus. Um, I know my hair is looking a little crazy because I'm going to be testing out this bad boy. Uh, this is not sponsored. I bought this with my own money um, and I wanted to try it out for myself. So I actually bought this on Black Friday um, and I've used it once but not like to really get a volume just to like really blow dry my hair really quickly. So this is the Revlon One Style. Also don't mind my nails, so sorry. This is the Revlon One Styler Dryer and Volumizer. Um, so basically it's an oval shaped dryer and you get airflow on both sides. Um, there is a cool setting, a low setting, and a high setting. Um, for the sake of time, I'm gonna do the high setting um, and I'm gonna time myself to see how long this takes. So I towel dried my hair, well, I had my hair up in a towel. Um, uh, the only thing I'm gonna put in my hair is this Redken Pillow Proof uh, Blow Dry. It says it's a time saving blow dryer um, or time saving blow dry primer with heat protection. I use this as my heat protection. Uh, I'm just going to put some of this in here. Oh, I'm getting this in my face. Blech. Okay. And then take my wet brush, which is kind of dirty, but I'm just going to straighten this out and that way I don't have my tangles in my blow dryer. Now, the awesome thing about the blow dryer uh, that I was reading was that it dries quicker because of the um, just the technology. There's ionic technology in there and because of that it helps just get your hair drier quicker and uh, in a, like with less damage. So I'm pretty excited about that. And then also, oh my gosh you guys, my hair. <laughs> oh my golly. Me. Okay, so I'm just going to section off just this top part. Really rough sectioning. I just want to add like more attention to this. Alright, so I'm going to set my timer. I'm not flipping you guys off, I promise. Okay, it's starting, so we're going to start. I'm going to start with high heat. So like I said, I'm going to start out using high heat and I'm concentrating on the base of my root. Also, Everything that I do gets interrupted because mom life, but that's okay. It's totally worth it and his face is a mess But anyway, like I said, I'm concentrating on the root and then drying the rest of the shaft But really trying to get that root dry and also volume. Okay, so I'm gonna pause this Real quick because I'm gonna talk so right now I'm at six minutes for this part of my hair now I'm gonna do this top section um, and I'm gonna work a little bit more on volume. Oh, so now I'm going to go through and I'm going to dry this part right here. And it was six minutes even with me stopping to talk with Paxton, <laughs> um, who had cinnamon roll all over his face. Okay. Ready, set, start. Okay. So I am blow drying it from underneath, just as if I were to use curlers and I wanted volume on top, I would still curl in that direction. Um, but I am blow drying it in four different directions so I can get as much volume as possible and reinforcing uh, the lift from underneath. Last section, as you can see, like my hair has some like good natural volume to it. I bet you if I used the Kenra volumizer, I'd have even more volume, but I just wanted to do it straight with the um, blow dry on its own. Okay, I'm just doing this last section and I'm doing the same way as I did the others. I'm at 11 minutes and 16 seconds. That's crazy. I mean, and it's all dry, like not damp anywhere. It's dry, which is so cool because I don't know, maybe this had a little bit to do with it speeding up, but I think even if I didn't use this, um, or if this didn't work in speeding up, which I actually think this does, um, it would have taken like 15 minutes instead of 11. Not too big of a deal. And if I want to combat the frizz little, switch it to the cool setting. <laughs> it just makes it a little bit sleek um, and not so frizzy. But look how quick and easy that was. I think I'm going to do a center part. Look at how crazy my hair is right now. Because I didn't like part it or anything. Good enough-ish. Um, 
But yeah, I really, really, really love this dryer. I think I would even go as so far as to say I think this might be my best purchase uh, in a really long time. Maybe in forever. I definitely think everybody should use this. It saved my arms and my wrists so much to have to not articulate a round brush the right way um, and then do the same with the blow dryer because maybe I can get my round brush the right way but sometimes I struggle like in certain parts of my head of getting my brush to actually blow the right way onto the brush. Maybe it's because I have like tiny little T-Rex arms um, but I do have issues with that when it comes to a round brush. So this is actually really amazing for that. Um, I think I probably could have volumized my hair even more. Like I said earlier, if I use like a Kenroy volumizing spray or whatever your favorite volumizing spray or mousse or whatever it may be, um, styling product, um, I think would even kick this up even more. Uh, my hair, I feel like looks really good. It doesn't look damaged. It doesn't look crazy. Like, I just think it looks really good. I would recommend this to anybody. Like I said, I bought this with my own money. I love it. I love it so much. So is this product worth it? Yes. Do I think you need it in your life? Yes. I don't say that so easily. If you have long hair or hair, you're, here's the thing. I am a mom. Okay. Um, I have two boys who you could probably hear in the background actually. Um, but I have two boys and getting them ready in the morning sometimes is a little crazy. And then I go work out. As soon as I take them to school, I go to the gym. Um, my youngest is in preschool, so I only have about 45 minutes by the time I get home to shower and get ready. That's it. So, um, I shower, change, get him, and in the summertime, especially when my hair is longer, I just like throw it up in a wet bun. Um, it is like negative two degrees today, and if I go out there, my hair will break off. So maybe not the wisest decision. So I've been blow drying this. I haven't done it as in depth because I wasn't sure how much more time, if I like had time for it. Um, but apparently I do. I just literally was going like this, just trying to blow dry it. Um, but apparently I would have had time to just like really go through and dry it. So um, I will leave a link below so you guys can get one for yourself. I love this brush. If it ever died, I would get another one. I think this is great to travel with because you can just like pop it in and it's really, it's really lightweight. Like it's not a big deal. Um, I will say I do recommend brushing your hair first with a wet brush um, just to get your tangles out because this still caught some of my hair in the brush. Um, there are some bristles in there along with some like plastic bristles to really like comb through your hair, but I would not use this as like, oh, this is gonna comb and detangle my hair. I would go with a regular brush for that. Um, but like I said, I like, I really like these results. I think my hair looks really great. It looks like I got like a sleeker blowout without the money and the time. And I honestly don't really ever get these same results when I use a brown brush. I, I, I'm not skilled enough on that. I am not a hair guru person. I just am someone who luckily has been blessed with fairly decent hair. Um, but in terms of the right way to do a blowout or any of that I'm really I'm not, I'm not the greatest that's one of my things I want to work on but um, yes anyway I'm gonna cut this video off right now um, I really really hope you guys enjoyed this if you guys want to see more videos like this please leave me a comment below and let me know I will be happy to test out more products for you guys um, and make sure you like and subscribe and hit that little bell so you get notifications on my next video. Uh, thanks again so much for watching, guys. You guys have no idea how much I really, really appreciate this. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.